Hey, what up, plebs? It's Chaser here, and uh, today I'll be talking about these new triggers that are in 2.1. Because I think a lot of people don't know how they work, and uh, if you do, uh, I guess leave. So the rotate trigger is very simple. You put a target group ID as 1, or whatever you like. And then this one will be 1. And I can add more of these if I want to, but uh, I guess I'll do that. And the center group, um, that's the one that is like the center, so this will rotate, uh, so this is the center point that they will rotate like that, so... Oh yeah, I probably would have to uh, rotate them as well, so that's how they rotate. So this is uh, how many times they do a 360, so now it's minus 1, so it moves like that. If I make it 1... It moves to the other side, so over here. And uh, if I just want it to move like 180, now it will be uh, like that. So the lock object rotation means that they will stay like this, so they don't rotate like this. Uh, move time, well that's pretty simple, it's just how long it takes to move them. No doubt, now they're really really slow. Also, a side note. Um, if an object has a locked rotation, for whatever reason, just delete it and make it again. That's a, that's currently a bug in 2.1. Hopefully it will be fixed, but for now, uh, that's the only way to fix that. Okay, so the next trigger is the follow trigger. So, let's just say we have um, this one in group 1 and this one in group 2. So, target group is 1, so this one. And the follow group is 2, so... If I now move to, it will follow. It should follow. I mean, if if it's like that, it should follow. Yeah. So it follows until here. So anything this moves, this one will will move the same way as well. Uh, the X mod is how much it moves. So if you put it like five, it, it will move five times faster. So, like that. And if you make it like 0.5, it moves half the, half the times uh, it should move. And that's pretty much it. This is how long it moves, and this change how they move. So minus 1, it moves uh, the opposite way. The next trigger is shake trigger, and um, it's very simple. The strength means how much it moves, so if here's uh, the screen or whatever. It moves like 5, like that. And if it's just 0, uh, I mean like 0.5, it will move like that much. Interval is how much it like... Kinda like lags, if that's... I don't know. I'll, I'll show you how, what it means. Like that. You can see like it's just like teleports uh, around, sort of. And if there's nothing, it moves smoothly. Like that. And the duration means um, how long the shake trigger goes for. So, uh, that's the shake trigger. It's very simple to use. And, uh, okay. So, the next trigger, animate trigger. Um, so, this one actually has this health thing and uh, it's useful. So, let's make it bigger so you can see it. So, let's just put that to group 1. And then the animation ID is. This is a big beast, and this is a bat, so you look at what uh, this thing says, and you will like, let's just say 3, so it's idle 01, whatever that means. You'll just have to try out uh, what they mean, so, um, it was 3, okay, so let's put that 3. So that's the idle animation, that's how the animate thing works. So the next trigger is um, follow player Y, and it's very very simple, so, well I mean it doesn't look simple, but it is, so. Let's put this to group 1, and now it will follow player Y axis. Then you can change their speed, so it's, uh, let's put it very low. So it uh, doesn't follow it perfectly, it moves like slowly towards uh, to player's Y axis. And delay is how long it takes until it takes action. So if you like, 
it comes over here. Um, so I'm gonna make this longer so you can see what I mean. You see? So it takes an, a second before it registers that, and then it will do that. Oh, the offset means the uh, y axis. So if I make it 20, it will be 20 over uh, the y. So it's, it's two blocks higher than the the player itself so that's how it works um that's that's a nice help by the way okay so the next trigger is touch trigger so let's add this to group one and make it hold mode so when you hold uh it will take away the group one and if you don't put it in hold mode uh when you click it will yeah there so every time you click it either uh doubles them off or on then dual mode, so if I click over here, it will um, trigger that, and if I click over here, it will just jump. So you can make some pretty nice stuff with that if you want. Then toggle on means it will just toggle them on, so it shouldn't work, yeah. And toggle off means it will toggle them off, so so that's that trigger. Um, the next trigger I have is count trigger, so let's just say I have all of these. I will have to edit the special of them and click the pickup item and make them group like one. So let's put the item ID one. So I want to have um, 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need to take all of those uh, to open this gate. So the target ID here is two. So I will put these to the group two. So once I get um, the target count to 10, it will toggle this group off. So now if I take all of them, it should disable that. And if I miss one, yeah, it's still there. So then you can make it touch to get spawn to get uh, multi-activate. So if I make these, um, edit the special and make them subtract the crown, the, the count. So if I get all of the 10, it will uh that the wall will disappear and if i subtract a few it won't even if i get all of these let's say it's like that so this will subtract it down so it's minus one so i won't open it that's how it works the multi trigger the next trigger is instant count so the item id is one so these are the one Target ID is 2 and target count is 10. Let's say it equals to 10. So I put it over here. So when you hit this one, it will check if uh, you have 10, exactly 10 of uh, these. And if you don't, uh, then the wall will stay there. But if you have exactly 10, so uh, yeah, I'll take all of these 10 and it disappears. If I take one of these, I have nine, so it won't. I can also make it so it's smaller, so I have to take some of these that subtract the count, so it uh, activates. Or I can make larger, so I have to take 11 of them in order to activate. So that's how it works. The next one is pick up, so it will count to 10. So you can you can see the number here. It will count to ten. There we go. And then, if you have these, then you're gonna get more. So this can be like uh, some sort of special thing. So you get like ten from from it if you take it or something. Uh, it's it's all about your imagination. So uh, yeah. So this thing is very useful for these. Uh, so it's the special put the item ID 1. So now the item ID means it will count every item ID that has the number 2 in them. Okay, the next trigger is collision trigger. Yeah, I, I don't understand how this thing works. Uh, if you know how this thing works, uh, be sure to leave a comment because I have no idea how this works. Next trigger is undead. Uh, it's very simple. You put a group there. Let's just say it's one, two. Um, it's, let's toggle it off. So group ID one is toggled off, and when you die, so when you die, you should see that there. So that's how it, that works. Uh, it's very simple trigger. 
and the stop trigger it's a very simple trigger so if you have let's just say group ID 1 let's just move it for um, 10 seconds so it goes like way further than this one and if I just stop it right there so uh, that starts moving and then when that it hits that one wait this would be the group 2 and this one should be uh, group ID 2 so now when um, I'll make it a little bit clearer so you can see what it does so they start moving there and then they stop right there because uh, this one stops this trigger from working so so those are all the triggers um, next I'm gonna go over these uh, buttons over here because I don't think a lot of people know what they do and they're kind of weird so anyway I'll start off with build helpers so what it does is if you have Let's just say these are group one. Then you move them. Let's just say like 100 there. Then you copy them. You click here and build helper. Helper um, automatically changes these to um, an unused group. So now they're group one. Uh, I mean group 2 and this one changes the group 2 so that's very useful if you want to copy paste like Vyprint the next button is create base uh, it's used for the new so it's used for the new blocks like this one so if you have these here you can just select all of them and create base so it create, creates a base for you the next button is create outlines I mean edges so it makes edges for them and then you can create base for those and the next button is uh, create outline so it creates an outline for this so that's how those buttons work they're very useful if you want to create with some of these new blocks so the next button um, unlock layers no one knows knows what it does I don't think anyone knows so if you know what it does leave a comment and uh, hopefully we know what it will do because for now only thing we can think of is that Robtop forgot to put a, a lock layers button that would look like layers so you can edit them or something like that but it doesn't seem to do anything <laughs> yeah so the reset unused means it will first all unused color channels the green there I mean that's blue but um, no one cares so now if I click that press yes so now I only have this one color channel and uncheck portals means if you have uh, portals that are checked like this you don't want to go like back all the way back to the level to uncheck all of them so you can just press uncheck portals and it will uncheck them automatically and then these buttons uh, if you press select all left it will select all all, all of the blocks to the left from uh, this line you have in the center of your screen when you create then you have this select all right it selects all of the objects that are right from there then select all it selects all and align X so it makes them aligned I, I'm not sure how it works but yeah it's kind of weird but yeah, I have no idea how those work but uh, <laughs> they did something so uh, yeah don't use these because they will probably just ruin your level. But anyway, that's the tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. I don't know, do do whatever you want to be honest. But uh, I'll see you guys next time.